Welcome back to Large Family Favorite. And today, my dryer is broken. Let me show you what we're doing about it. I just want to first say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for following me along on this journey and showing your support. <coughs> it is a blessing. Today, as you can tell probably by the title, I have laundry to do. However, our dryer has broken. So, my husband has decided to put together a video for you all. It is a do-it-yourself large family clothesline. That's what he's calling it. <laughs> this clothesline is pretty neat because it is kind of like adjustable. You can set it up and then take it down if you need something just temporarily or you can leave it up as a permanent structure and it won't really rust, you know, right away and such. This is a pretty cool project that I, uh, I just had to share with you guys. <laughs> when he thinks, he usually thinks big, 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 okay? I mean, he's a, a father of seven, so you know how that goes. I call him my modern day MacGyver. So um, I'm going to be sharing that video with you all. But first, I just want to kind of give a little promotion here. Um, after you watch this video, go ahead and click on his channel. I'll link it in the description box below. And subscribe because, like I said, with him being a father of many and a homeowner, there are things that are always needing a, a tuning around here, a fixing up, things falling apart and breaking and going kaputs on us. So uh, this man is not afraid to tackle any project. So, if you have a problem that you're trying to tackle in your home, leave him a comment so that maybe he can help you out or he may even do a video response for you and give you some pointers and tips along the way. So, here we go. Without further ado, I'll flip it over and show you that video. Thanks for watching. Today, we're going to be making a, a clothes hanger for the backyard. Um, and we're going to be using galvanized, galvanized pipe for fencing, 16 gauge. This is a 16 gauge pipe, galvanized pipe. It was comes in eight foot lengths. It's actually, actually cheaper than getting uh, six foot or seven foot lengths. What I did, I measured 80 inches. You could cut to fit whatever size you want, or you could um, you could already get the sizes you want. Um, specific sizes like six footers or seven footers but it's gonna cost you more money um, then I picked up these these pieces of hardware in Lowe's it's a very good product it gives you a nice clean modern look and we're gonna mount these so we just cut the pipe at the length that we wanted 80 inches and now we're gonna mount the hardware on there this is the top piece and it comes with four allen barrel screws and you just tighten just snug it up a little bit that's the top this is the bottom very nice because if you want to put it on a slab you could tap con it there in four locations and that way it won't move but um, I decided to go with this as opposed to PVC because PVC uh, doesn't look after a while doesn't look um, aesthetically clean but this galvanized it'll last a long time and I have kids as well and my mom has a PVC clothes hanger in her backyard and they use it as monkey bars and uh, but she has more rigid pipe than I do she has two inch I'm going with this is inch and a half by, I mean sorry inch and five eighths by the way and uh, it's much more rigid and it will last a lot longer so that's basically you're gonna repeat that four times this is your leg I'm gonna repeat that four times 
and we'll assemble it later on. Take our measurement, measure it to which, whichever size you want. What height? This is our height, by the way. We're making our legs, and we're doing our height. The pipes, they come in eight foot lengths, and we're just gonna make an eight foot by eight foot um, square. Uh, so this is an 80 inch height. don't have a file you can take this pipe hold it right there put a little brush on it maybe with your leg and just spin and get the rough edges off of it then you take the inside you stick it in there and you do the same thing and then turn it that way Wait for it to cool off to do this because the pipe might be hot. This is going to have the cap on it, the top part of the uh, of the cl clothes hanger. And <clears throat> so you're not really going to. Um, the sharp edges aren't going to be exposed, but it's uh, it's good practice to to take that stuff off. Now we're gonna spray the end. Since this is galvanized pipe, we're gonna use a bright galvanizing compound just to spray it on the on the uh, part that we just cut off. And you're just gonna spray the edge of it in edge of it and spray the opposite end as well okay these are our these are our four legs already assembled um, as far as the uh, the hardware is concerned the, the connection points now we're gonna assemble it assemble it together and show the, the finished product now we're going to assemble the uh, clothes rack. We connect the left side, just slide it in like that. Connect the right side. And if you can see here, and here, we just bring the pipe in till it hits the vertical pipe going in and then just tighten it down here on the side this is a 10 sorry uh 8 millimeter hex head or allen key don't tighten it down too much because this is this in my case this pipe here is a 16 gauge they have a heavier the, the gauge that comes along with this um, hardware is a 30 gauge uh, pipe but it's um, a lot more expensive I got this pipe here for eight dollars and 67 cents I believe at Lowe's and uh, pro the, the 30 gauge pipe that comes with this it's a long as a longer length i was going to make my clock my clothes um rod 10 by 10 because i have a large family but um they when i went to the fencing aisle this is uh you can find this pipe in the fencing aisle for a, a chain link fence and that's what that product is is a is a lighter gauge and it's cheaper 
it's eight dollars and sixty seven cents as opposed to twenty nine dollars um, and ninety three cents I believe it was for the ten foot thirty um, thirty gauge galvanized pipe now once we have our three legs we're gonna go ahead and put our horizontal member we'll put it in like so and tighten that one down this is our horizontal tighten that one down and then all we have to do is attach our other two legs to the top over there okay here we have it's almost it's uh, almost assembled we have uh, two vertical legs Okay, this is our finished product, but what I'm gonna do is to make it stronger, I'm gonna give my wife another hanger right here, hanging right there. you can add a fourth one here but that's up to you again i have a large family there's nine of us and we live in south florida so we trying to take advantage of uh, the sun and the heat here uh, we could dry a lot of clothes on this uh, rod on this hanging rod and um, that's why we're going this route another another uh, variation you could do is you could hang rods here as well. You could hang one there, you could probably get three. One, two, three. Again, you're going to need the hardware for the connection points. I got this inch and five inch tubing so I could hang shirts right on the hanger on there. They have a smaller one, I believe it's three quarters, but it was a little bit on um, that. It's a lighter duty. Again, if you go with the uh, the product, um, it's called Steel Tech. You can find it at Lowe's. It um, has a three three quarter inch product. It's 30 gauge, it's very rigid, very strong. It's for um, structural. However, it's very, very pricey this inch and five eighths 16 gauge is like half the price so i went with that again and again i went with um, galvanized because it's uh living in uh, south florida it's hot and i know my kids are going to be tempted tempted to hang on this and if i make it pvc or anything smaller it's going to bend so i went with rigidity it's a little bit more pricey, 